Good evening. Tonight we will be discussing the Seven of Swords and its place in the Minor Arcana. The Seven of Swords is the seventh card of the Suit of Swords. It is the embodiment of greed and thoughtless behavior. This card is represented by a man, likely middle-aged, who is taking very careful, stealthy steps away from a scene he is apparently leaving with great care. He is looking back to see if he has been noticed by anyone. He is obviously doing something he ought not to be doing, and is attempting to get away with it. In his arms he carries five swords. Two more are left behind, as if he couldn't quite carry them all. There are tents in the background, as if to represent a fair of some kind. The figure is sneaking away from these tents with all possible speed. When appearing in a spread, this card implies undesirable and impulsive behavior. The Seven of Swords is often indicative of action without thought and with no care to the possible consequences. If you are represented by the individual in this card, you are likely to hurt both yourself and others, and all for a moment of personal gratification. The figure shown on this card knows that he shouldn't be doing what he's doing, and yet he continues on with his dishonorable task. He is wary of being caught, and so seeks to slip away unnoticed. Whether he is caught is really not the issue. The very fact that he knows he is in the wrong is the real point of this card. The Seven of Swords is the image of secret plans and hidden dishonor. If you draw this card, you are likely making plans that have remained secretive. It is just as likely that you have not told anyone because these plans would be the subject of much criticism as they are not entirely honorable. Since these plans are made and carried out in secret, they bring with them a deep frustration. The Seven of Swords also implies a possible failure in this endeavor, whatever it may be. In addition to warning of failure, it can also suggest that you should rethink the entire idea and perhaps find another way, a more honorable way, to achieve similar goals. The Seven of Swords, in its reversed position, has two distinct meanings. The first is to look out for thieves. This thief is not necessarily a stranger. It could be that someone close to you wants to take something that you value, so keep your eyes open. Secondly, you'll want to watch your finances and beware of any potential legal problems. Seek legal or financial advice before taking any important steps in these areas. You will greatly benefit from professional advice. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time when we discuss the Eight of Swords and how it relates to the Fool's Journey. Blessed be.